What's up guys, welcome back to Half Men of Tech. So just after five days from receiving the official launch of Marquis Pixel 11.0.1, we now have a new update today and it's Marquis Pixel 11.1 beta. Now I have the developer profile, so let's go to see what we have here. So as you can see for me, the update size that came in for me on my MacBook Pro here is 3.24 gig. I should mention that despite this being a small update file, it actually took over an hour to download which was a big inconvenience however the system did not actually take more time to prepare it just restarted automatically after finishing the download process i i actually had to test the speed and make sure that my internet was working because the time would fluctuate sometimes it would go from two hours to three hours and then one hour so i had to do a speed test and my internet speed was okay so I've updated and if we go to the about this mark section just to see which build number we have you can see the new build number that we have with this Marquis Pixel 11.1 beta it's 20C5048K this build number has a K at the end and in terms of stability you know what this means so if we go to the system just to see how much this update is taken up you can see that Marquis Pixel 11.1 beta is taken up 16.19 gig this is almost exactly the same as what i had on the previous official version so this one just increased a little bit now if we go back to, again to the build number that came with this update you can see that it says 11.1 this could actually mean that macOS will get a new version number next year something like 12.0 just like what we saw when we went from Catalina to Big Sur which was version 11 so if this update was perhaps 11.0.2 then Apple would have continued perhaps with that numbering scheme and then next year would have got the next version of macOS Big Sur as 11.1 but as you can see here we already have 11.1 and i don't know what's going to follow after this perhaps 11.1 beta until we get to the final beta and then we get 11.2 and then when next year comes we might be getting macOS version 12.0 it's quite unfortunate for developers and for those that have to make their apps more compatible because if you look at the different platforms that apple has ios is on a number of its own and then watch OS is on a number of its own and then mac os is on a number of its own so it's quite unfortunate but at this time this seems to be what's happening now when it comes to some changes or new features that i noticed with this 11.1 beta the first one has to do with system developer kit that comes with xcode 12.3 and this can actually be downloaded from the beta software update page it's very easy to do so do check this out and then also the next update that i noticed has to do with booting up after the mark had finished updating so you'll be given an analytics screen and then once you click continue there's a small glitch or bug usually the mark shows a small segment of check marks as you know it gets ready to start but this time around it just skipped that section and jumped straight to my desktop which is a bug i think at this time and it didn't look so clean it seems like a glitch when you open your app store for the first time you get a pop-up screen that will tell you what's new in the app store and also in arcade so that is something that i noticed and also if you open the app store you will notice that there's an update in the app store and it says widget gets an update so you can see all these colors that you have here and just below that we have three subsections that says master your mark and then we have you know level up your browser which is updates that have to do with safari and then we have welcome to the mac app store this is receiving quite a number of updates as more apps come over to macOS pixel and then also there's this section that says what's new in game center so this is something that you can always check out i did check out your browser so if we click on the browser section here you can see that these are safari extensions that have been updated to support m1 and mac os pixel this one password was actually updated a few hours ago today and you can see even grammarly honey and all these other safari extensions have been updated to accommodate mac os pixel and on 11.1 beta these are
are actually also supported which is a good thing and i if you have the extension you can see that if you click on it it will just open in safari which is something that's uh, good i've tested them and they are working and then if you don't have the extension it will just tell you to get the extension so that's something that i noticed and then if we go to the widget or control center here if we click here just to see the control center or the widgets that have been added with macOS pixel you can see that we have some third-party widgets that came with this update and also as you can see most of the good ones you actually have to buy and some of them are actually expensive if you look at this one it's like $54.99 which is a lot but just for the purpose of testing I did add one widget just to see how it's working so I added this calendar that you can see here so you can see it says open instead of get and if we go to the top corner of my screen there and click on the widget you can see that it's this one so this is the widget that I added and when i click on it you can see that it pops up this fantastical calendar app i notice that still you can take your widgets and pull them over to the home screen like you can do on some windows or some other os so still a downside but however it's good to see that they are adding these third party widgets when it comes to the control center in the app store also it's been updated also with this update i noticed that final cut pro is way way faster when it comes to rendering i would say about 15 percent faster compared to the official release that i had which was 11.0.1 so usually my clips are like 15 to 20 minutes long and then i update and then usually it has to render in the top corner but i noticed that after making changes to certain clips it actually renders faster and before i was having issues whereby my projects would actually lose progress so i noticed that with this 11.1 beta that is now working now when it comes to safari 4k video i noticed that this time around is faster so if we open safari and play a 4k video you can see that the resolution here is actually in 4k as you can see here so let's go ahead and select 4k just to be safe so if we select then then select 4k you can see that this is actually working faster and the Jira delay and also the glitches that were there before have been improved and notice that when I enter full screen mode it's actually better there was a glitch before whereby it would sort of delay or show some sort of bug when when transitioning between full screen mode and minimize mode but as you can see here it's working and this is more stable you can see how fast it is when transitioning between the full screen mode and the minimize mode it's still not yet perfect but I can tell that it's better than what we had before on the final build which is good and something that I noticed that came with this update next if we go into the settings or the system preferences of our Mac so open system preferences and then go to where it says trackpad if you select trackpad there and then go to a specific function that you want to learn or see what to do so you can see that if you go to scroll directional you now have this interface that's showing you what that function does or what you need to do on the trackpad this was not there on some of the release candidate versions and i believe on the official release of macOS pixel this section was not showing i was always complaining how are we supposed to know what to do as this wasn't being illustrated but as you can see with this version this has actually been added which is something good so i do use the apple mail app this one and i noticed that it's a bit faster compared to what we had before so when opening up and loading my emails i noticed that things are loading faster in the email which is also another good thing that came with this update and also if you want to know which apps will run natively on your new m1 mac i will leave a link in the description of this video where you can check it out and see if the applications are supported that you would want to run on your new mac now when it comes to some bugs or issues that are still existing with this update if we go to the top corner here and try to adjust the brightness so you can see that the brightness bar is not showing before i believe it was showing and for you to be able to adjust the brightness you actually have to click the brightness bar and then it will take you here and from here that's when you can adjust your brightness and this is happening when i have an external monitor so this is all one bug that i noticed and also another bug that was there on the official release that apple didn't touch on has to do with certain 2013 and 2014 
13 inch macbook pro so some devices were being bricked and when apple released this 11.1 beta they actually didn't say anything about it so i would still hold off if i have any of those macbooks also another issue has to do with the update itself so like i mentioned it takes sometimes over an hour to download until your mac can restart so just be patient and if this is an update that you're thinking of upgrading to then grab some popcorn and watch a movie as it's not going to be a short one now when it comes to battery performance if we go to the system preferences and then go to the battery section here you can see that the last 10 days the screen on time that i had was basically between saturday Sunday and Monday so this was when I was testing the official release so when it comes to this 11.1 beta 1 I'm going to be doing a follow-up video after two days just to show you how my battery performance is doing I wasn't happy with the battery performance that I was getting on the official release so hopefully this will actually improve the battery performance on my mac now when it comes to geekbench scores or device performance i did run some geekbench 5 scores and i'm happy to say that this actually looks promising it's actually slightly better than beta 10 which was the update where i had the best geekbench score numbers so on this 11.1 beta when it comes to single core cpu performance i got a score of 809 and before that on the final build which was 11.0.1 i had 740 so you can see that this is way better and then when it comes to mount core or multi-threaded work on this 11.1 beta 1 i had a score of 3280 and on the official release i had 3108 so you can see that this is actually better still and when it comes to gpu performance i also ran geekbench 5 scores just to see how you know 3d image rendering and gpu performance is and on this 11.1 beta 1 i had a score of 17,649, and compared to what i had on the official release i had 17,297. so you can see that this 11.1 beta 1 is actually very good when it comes to performance it's slightly better than beta 10 and on beta 10 since macOS pixel came out that's where i had the best geekbench scores and now this has overtaken that so when it comes to geek Bench scores i'm very happy with this update let me know if your mark also seems to be faster when it comes to this 11.1 beta 1 this is how it's been for me so far i've been using it for about four hours and just to let you know the youtube community post is now up so do vote and have a say and also let me know of any issues that you are facing and i will be able to use your feedback in the follow-up video other than that, that's about it for me guys. If you like this video, drop a like and please subscribe if you haven't yet done so and stay safe and I will definitely see you in the next video very soon. Peace.